Hello, Divination, and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you best practices for using external JavaScript with Divi. Let's get started. All right, so in this very first example, I'm going to show you how to add JavaScript snippets to a single page using the code module. So here I've just uh, pulled up any layout pack. It doesn't really matter uh, which layout pack you're using or even if you're just designing your website from scratch. So what you want to do is to go to, let's say, on this module here, I can just click on this plus button and search for my code module. So let's say this is where I need to add my code. I'll just add it here. Now over here, all I have to do now, what I'm doing here is I'm just adding a bit of uh, JavaScript code. And as you can see, as soon as I've, I've entered it, it's now showing here as normal text. So what you need to do is to add some uh, tags at the beginning and at the end. And what we need to add here is adding a tag, which is called script. So I'm going to come over here to the top and I'm just going to paste my tag like that. And then right at the end, you also want to do the same thing, but this time you want to add a forward slash first before the word script. There we go. So this is what it finally looks like. So as you can see over here now, the code, the code snippet doesn't actually show up. And that is because I've wrapped this in the right tags. All right. So uh, if you're done with that, I'm just going to click on, let's say, save. Now, let's say you want to add some JavaScript to the whole website. How do you do that? In fact, let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to come over here to my dashboard and then I'll just click on save and exit. So this is going to take me all the way back to my WordPress admin dashboard. Now, what I need to do over here is I need to go all the way down to theme options. In fact, just wait until this takes me to my dashboard. There we are. So what I need to do here is to come all the way down here to Divi and then click on theme options. Next, you want to click on integration. And this is where you'd add your code. So this goes, if you want your code to go to the head, you can add it over there. If you want it to go to the body or even on top of blog post and so on. So as you can see, we have so many options of adding our code. So here you need to establish where you want your codes to go. So let's say, for example, uh, your JavaScript code needs to do something to the header. You wouldn't want to put it over here to the body because that's where it's going to load. So make sure you add it to the specific place. And also notice here that you can enable and disable it over here with using these toggles. So let's say you want to disable the code that you've added on the single top code. You can just disable it by coming over here. But anyway, this is where you need to add your tag, uh, I mean your code. So let's say you want to add the JavaScript to your head area. So I can just paste it in here. And again, don't forget you need to add your tags. So in this case, this is JavaScript. So it's going to be script, just like what we did in the previous step. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and add it like that. And then I'm also going to add it over here at the bottom. So I just need to add my forward slash here and this closes my tag. Now, the final step is, let's say you want to add your JavaScript code to a child theme. So what you need to do is to create a folder called JS, and then you create a single file that has your JavaScript, and then you add it into that folder. And then finally, you upload that to your theme. So that's how you would set it up for a child theme. All right, so that's all I have for you for this video.